All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and the Duru well. And much peace, love, blessings, many salutations to you, brothers out there laboring in this word in all truth and in all sincerity. To you, sincere believers out there in general that believe in our testimony through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now to you, we say Shalom as well. Okay, I'm the brother Shapal. Out of the Great Millstone Dallas camp, coming to you all again with another lesson. All right, and this is going to be a, in the news. All right, it's been a minute since I did one of these, but the spirit was on me um, to go ahead and, and get into it, man, because there's been a lot of things taking place this week. Okay, this week specifically, you can see that there's a lot of things happening. Okay, and rapidly, you know, quickly. Okay, because the Lord's coming is going to be quick. So as these uh, instances, these these um, you know, as prophecy pretty much continues to go on. OK, we'll continue to see these things speed up. Why? Because for the elect's sake, these days must be short, man. OK, and these things must speed up, man. OK, so right here I have a clip um, from the, uh, you know, the economist uh, uh, Glenn Beck, you know, which he talks about various different things that are going on, pretty much pertaining to prophecy. Um, and we like to use these guys as, uh, you know, obviously they don't have the truth. You know, he's probably more than likely an Edomite. Uh, but we use these guys to, uh, you know, articulate the points that need to be made. OK, because when you listen to what he's about to go into, he's going to talk about how these are just the beginning of shortages, as you can see in the um, uh, title of his video right here. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and start here. Twenty nine percent of the top selling baby formula products are out of stock and have been out of stock by mid-March. Um, Data Assembly, which tracks baby formula stock at 11,000 retailers. They say this is a shocking number. You don't see it now for other categories. We've been tracking it over time. It's going up dramatically. We see this category is being affected. By Ecast Pharmacy, Walgreens Greens, with over 9,000 locations announced it's now rationing baby formula. You hear that? Rationing. <laughs> I mean, when you watch movies or TV shows, Walking Dead, for example, rationing is, is, a, is a thing that's, um, you know, commonly understood in that setting, you know, in these different TV shows and whatnot, because to the American people, to most people, they're just looking at it like, oh, this is a TV show. It's just entertainment, so on and so forth. Could you imagine if it was actually like that? But here it is. These companies, these big corporations are actually speaking on these things. OK, this is prophecy at the end of the day. These things are big, man. Twenty nine percent of a shortage when dealing with a uh, 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 baby formula. OK. I mean, you got to think about these women out here. A lot of them today, they're not able to uh, uh, feed via the breast, you know, the natural way in which the Heavenly Father wants the baby to be fed anyways. But because everything's so out of whack, as the scripture says in Psalms 82, the whole curt of. Uh, the, all the earth is out of course. Okay. So everything is pretty much knocked off of its foundation, right? Everything is out of order. Why? Because they make making void the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right. There's there's a, a cause and effect, you know, with, with that being the cause, the effect is, okay, so now everything is going to be out of order because you don't adhere to the order, all right, the righteous order of the Heavenly Father. Guys, we haven't even started yet. And that's right, <laughs> because Yahweh Shai said in Matthew, the 24th chapter, in fact, I have it right here, that these would be the beginning of sorrows, okay? It says, Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And see, to us, these are comforting things because we actually believe in the inspired word of the Heavenly Father. We actually believe that these are, are living scriptures, that these are alive, and they're literally speaking right now. So that's, that's where we find our comfort in these times we're entering into because the Heavenly Father has essentially sent down the Holy Spirit to give this understanding of what's going on pertaining into the scriptures and how these things aren't just, um, you know, coincidental, how, how there's not, um, 
you know, this this kingdom isn't going to go on forever. You know, it and in, 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 in inevitably. The microchip being spoke about actually being in the mainstream media. When we look at these different things and these these psyops and these false flags, which we're going to get into the Frank, uh, what's his name, Frank James uh, situation as well. When you look at the rise in prices, when you look at the, uh, 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 you know, the how everything is pretty much dealing with uh, the natural of order of things. You know, I don't I want to watch what I say, but when dealing with um, gender and, and, and different things that pertain to that, there's. There's pretty much a um, what's the word I'm looking for a, a a influx of those things, which goes to show when these things, like the scripture says, when these things begin to cr- increase on the earth, well then we know what time we're in, right? In Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, it talks about measuring the times diligently, and when we see these things come to pass, which are spoken of in the scriptures prophecy then we shall know that the end is coming man then we shall know that the heavenly father is about to judge this place immensely again you know the scripture says what uh it's now time for thee to work oh yeah about seeing outside for they have made void thy law through them not putting the heavenly father's word on a pedestal you know they lie on the word they you know claim to believe in the word they claim this is a so-called christian nation but we see them you know, their actions are, are completely contrary to the scriptures. So with them being contrary to the word of the Heavenly Father, well, what's the inevitable outcome? Sodom and Gomorrah was given it as an example. Babylon was given as, as an example. OK, all these different kingdoms in which the heathen ruled or or, or you know, had our people in subjection. America, Babylon, the great being no different. They all had, had their end. They all had their 15 minutes of fame and then they all had their end. OK, and like I said, America is no different. So this is prophecy that we're reading about here. It says, see that she be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And we're seeing wars and rumors of wars. What uh, Russia, Ukraine, you know, so on and so forth. Sweden, you know, taking sides. All these things are happening. OK, <laughs> via uh, the will of the Heavenly Father. man. Prophecy, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows famines okay pestilences earthquakes signs in the skies you know you, you can look at these things like how was i said you pharisees you hypocrites you can discern the signs in the skies but can you not not discern the signs of the times <laughs> because prophecy is essentially a spirit that's not given unto many Revelation 19 to 10, but we'll go back and uh, see if there's any more on this. Rationing baby formula, and they say it is because there was a recall in January, uh, but also uh, vital ingredients we can't get. Packaging apparently has problems. The freight costs are through the roof and labor shortages. It's incredible. A friend of mine had a... a And that's pretty much the point. That's pretty much the point. Now we'll go to the next article. Um... This is uh, the Washington Post. It says economic toll in Texas worsens as trucks remain stopped at Mexican border. OK, so that's how Amer- America, you know, there's there's land in America. There's there's people that grow crops and, you know, you have your farmers and whatnot. But a lot of what America gets comes from out of country, it comes uh, uh, via ships or, or via, you know, uh, the, the Mexican border, via the Canadian border, so on and so forth. And you had. um you know, Ukraine, I believe they're they're um, I forget the numbers exactly, but they're pretty much over. I want to say somewhat around 20 percent of the wheat that the world. Has OK, so that's big. That's big. See, these things are taking place. And, the you know, when you look into these uh, economists like um, like who we were watching, uh, uh, Glenn Beck you know, so on and so forth, they're saying that these things aren't good. You know, he re- he actually recently did a video going into the inflation rate and how they say it's 8.5%, the highest has been, and I forget how long, but that, that it's really more than that, okay? At the end of the day, prophecy is taking place. The word of the Heavenly Father is going to accomplish that 
in which it pleases. Okay. So let's go here. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the book of Second Edris, chapter 16 and verse 22. It says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Right, because at the end of the day, this is prophecy, man. So here it is. There, there's, there's a book, right, the Holy Bible, in which is written therein and there out. Lamentations, mourning, and woe, and is written therein. You know, it aligns with secular history, and it's all these things that are speaking, or has spoken on the things written therein are coming to pass. But our people are 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 still lollygagging, man. You know, they're still caught up in the world, into their own destruction. It says, "And the trumpet shall be a shall give a sound, which when every man he heareth, they shall be so." Afraid because a loaf of bread is going to be $25, $30. I mean, we saw the, inf you know, how things were happening. You know, there was a talk of the town for the for that week or two in which, you know, now it's kind of going down the gas prices, right? But imagine when it when it really hits home, dealing with the food. You you fuck with somebody's meal, man. That's, that's <laughs> imagine, imagine, you know, <laughs> you sitting down and eating your meal at work or something at a restaurant. And someone comes up and, and just takes a takes a piece of your food, man. You know, comes up with their own fork and starts digging in your meal. Man, you even though it's in abundance right now, you you still be wanting to fight. Imagine when it's when it's uh uh you know when it's when it's rationing, when it's when it's shortages to the point where, like it says, the sown places shall appear unsown, meaning that these storehouses, like it says, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. I mean, you see it in these movies dealing with um, uh, World War Z, for instance, you know, pretty much being that people, when these things hit the fan, utter chaos is going to take place, man. Where these people are going to be going into these different uh, grocery stores and, and taking whatever they want, man. They're going to be going in there with pistols, you know, ARs, shotguns, whatever they have, knives. And it's going to be, at that point, it's going to be eat or get ate. That's why it says, at that time, shall friends. You know, real friends. Let's, let's, uh, let's grab it. All right. This is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 8. It says, a friend cannot be known in prosperity. See? And an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. So these people, they're not, they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Basim Yahshai dealing with them. So because things are all good and dandy right now, because there's an abundance of things, because it's easy for you to just go to a, 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 a restaurant or a fast food joint and, and, you know, get a meal without, without having to hunt for it or fight for it or because things are in abundance, right? a, a fr you, you know, people are at, at ease with one another, so-called friends. But watch when shit really hits the fan, man. People are going to turn on each other, man, extremely quick. Okay? And let's see what we got here. Uh, second edge was the second edge 16. Yeah. And um, verse 18. All right. Because Ezra, I mean, matter of fact, we can start it at 17. Because Ezra saw the things that are going to be taking place relatively soon, man. These are, the, again, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of shortages, the beginning of the plagues and the pestilence, the beginning of wars, the beginning of the end, man. Okay, so the prophet Ezra. The beginning of sorrows in great mornings. And, and, when, and going back to that, who, who, who would deliver me in those days? What does that mean? Now, the prophet Ezra, I want to say, was... was um, you know, a, you know, a few thousand years ago, I know that I can't say the exact uh, time frame, you know, whether it be, a, you know, a, 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 you know, a, the exact date, if you will. But who would deliver me in those days? So he's seeing a, a, a prophecy of the days that we're in right now. How why, why would he say that? Who would deliver me in those days? Why? Because essentially the spirits are eternal, man. And the Heavenly Father sends the spirits back. 
to fulfill their lots according to his will. There's no such thing as free will, man. You're not outside of the order of what the Heavenly Father wants you to do. It's an appearance of free will. You have the illusion to go left or to go right or to walk straight or to turn around and go backward or to do whatever. But ultimately, it's, it's according to the spirit that the Heavenly Father puts on you. If so, it, I mean, if it wasn't, then then how can he be the almighty or the omnipotent? You see, but nevertheless, you know, verse 18, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Now, when you grab this word. Amendment. Let's see. Let's look it up real quick. It says a it says a minor change or addition. Oh no, that's not what we want. Amendment. Something which is added to soil in order to improve its texture or fertility. No, that's not what we want, man. Amendment. Let's go to the uh online etymology dictionary. Amendment. Correction, you see, of persons, correction, reformation. So amendment is correction, okay? Somebody, you know, the Heavenly Father, like he says, and um, let's go here. Oh, yeah, Sirach. Um, Second Ezra's 8 and 15. All right. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell on the in the world because they have walked in great pride. You see, so pride, you know, for, for you to uh, say that there's more than two, you know, uh, uh, genders for you to say that, that there is no God, you know, for you to for you to boast yourself as, as this, this, this all knowing or, or that you have a better way than the creator. Well, you're going to be put in utter misery in the days to come, man, because you have walked in great pride. That's pride. That's boasting yourself against the natural order of things in which the Heavenly Father established, in which the scriptures talks about, man. You got people that claim to believe in the Bible, okay, but they're not, they're not, don't adhere to any of the principles they're in. It's, it's, it's blasphemy, man, okay? So let's see. Um, and that was pretty much it. You know, we're coming into these times, you know, like I said, this is a in the news and we're going to get into, like I said, the Frank James portion of it, you know, which we're going to get into in a second. But it's important when we when we see these signs, like it says in our first Thessalonians five. Matter of fact. Uh, yeah, first Thessalonians five and one, it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, right? When you read also in Matthew, the 24th chapter, around about 36, 37 verse, hey, it says, as in, the day, as in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the coming of the Son of Man. For they were drinking and giving in marriage, you know, so on and so forth, pretty much living it up as if we're not in these in the end, man. As if like the times of old wouldn't dealing with Noah, as if he wasn't on the scene telling them these things were going to come. Just as you have men on the scene right now, the prophets are back in their lots of day telling you these things are going to come. But what do they do? They scoff. They mock. They wave their hand off. They, 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 they you know, they want to lean upon Egypt. They want to lean upon America. You know, they trust in the, in the shadow of Egypt. OK. It says for when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Right. But ye brethren are not, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You see, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. See, the, you know, like the scripture says in Romans, the 11 chapter, you know, that I would have, you know, that blindness in part hath happened unto Israel. All right. As it is written, the Lord hath given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. 
So therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let's go into this word sober, just for edification. Because a lot of people see that and think it means oh, you can't drink wine or so on and so forth. All right, it says to be sober. All right, that word in the Greek is um nafo. All right, nafo to be sober, to be calm, and collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect, right? And that's why you read in Revelation 12 that they love not their lives unto death. You don't, you don't, no man that warreth, <laughs> right? As it says in 2 Timothy 2, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. We're in a spiritual war. All right. We've been we've been chosen as Lord willing to endure to the end as honorable vessels for for this uh, uh to side on the on the side of the Heavenly Father. You know, who who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Psalms 94 and 16. Okay, but to be circumspect, to pretty much keep your head on a, on a swivel, to pay attention to the times that we're in. Again, measuring the time diligently within itself. Okay, this is wary and unwilling to take risks. Careful, all right. Guarded, watchful. <laughs> As the scripture has said, we are we are watchmen unto the nation of Israel. Though a lot of our people are hard headed and stiff necked, oh, and oh, oh boy, yes they are. Right, we have to continue to do our job that the blood don't be upon our hand our hands as it says in um ezekiel the third chapter okay but circum you know going back to the word circle or circumference round and then spect going to the eyes you know your uh, spectacles you know uh, to spectate okay so to keep your eyes you know your head on a swivel pretty much to pay attention to the times that we're in as we read again in first thessalonians the fifth chapter okay all right. Um, so with that, let me see. Yeah, that was it. Let's go to the next topic dealing with this. All right. Now, I'm sure majority of, brother, of brothers and sisters are seeing the video, so I'm not going to play it. Um, but you can just see that it's a psyop. You know, it's a false flag. We'll say that confidently, all right, without a doubt. Um, you know, the enemy pretty much used this as a as a. Uh, as a tool to aid in in how he's going to persecute the prophets, man. Okay. I mean, they persecuted our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and he said the servant is not greater than his master. So they're going to do the same things to us. They did the same things to the prophets of old, to the disciples the, who later became apostles. They did the same thing. So if you're truly standing as a man in the Lord in this day, okay, this is part of that bitter uh, pill. The bitter, uh, in which you know, of this truth in which we have to eat, you know, and swallow, okay. But it says, for those of y'all that don't know, we'll just go into the article pretty much in uh, uh, what was it the Bronx? You know, there was a, a man who you have seen here, um, who pretty much you know was gonna go into it, shot like 10 people, it was like 30 something rounds. Um, and in the video, you know, afterwards, after the um, you know, in the aftermath of the video, pretty much they show, you know, it, it was just, it was just sloppy, man. Okay. These devils aren't slick. Okay. But that's why the scripture says second Corinthians two and 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. So the left hand is, is starting to show itself and is about to come down with that wrath. But let's go. It says, um, it says at least 10 people were shot and six others were injured. When James fired at least 33 rounds inside the subway car, officials said five victims are in critical condition, but are expected to survive. The incident happened on a Manhattan bound North subway car near the 36th Street subway station in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. All right. Let's see. So he would, you know, he was on YouTube, you know, uh, when you go to his YouTube channel. I want to say it's a, it's a prophet, prophet uh, of doom, which which Hosea the prophet was also known as a prophet of uh, doom. You see, because the prophets prophesied, man, as it says in uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight. You know, 
the prophets that have been before me and before the of old have prophesied both against great countries and against great kingdoms of wars and of evils and of pestilence. And it's not pulling up his channel, man. Um, let's see. I hate, I don't ever really be on here on the computer, so bear with me. Oh, matter of fact, I think I saw earlier that they terminated his channel. <laughs> That's right. I did see that earlier. At least I couldn't get into it. Maybe it might not be the case, but um, I believe they terminated his channel. So let's go back. Um, and pretty much he was just going on rants for the past couple of years, you know, which Esau can set up people, you know, for years to come uh, to a certain point in which he'll utilize, you know, it's, it's a tactic, man. And not to mention, he could just go into the system and just post, you know, post all these videos type shit and make it seem like it's been over the span of a few years. But nevertheless, um, you know, this situation pretty much, they, they uh, he's being charged with terrorism, you know, and that's essentially what they're going to charge us with, man, being domestic terrorists, because we, we're pretty much coming against this place and against the things that are being set forth, right? We talked about it, uh, you know, even the transhumanism, man, uh, uh, pretty much, um, you know, morphing man with machine. OK, so that's that's the things that are happening. And that's ultimately going to play into. All right. That 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 Karagma, man, you read about in Revelation 13 and 16. Again, that's that's been in the news, man, the mainstream media. OK, so he would go on rants and says he also discussed homelessness in New York City and said that Jewish people's prayers <laughs> went unanswered during the Holocaust. This is watch a portion of the footage below. And that's I mean. Anytime you come at these people, they try to say that you're anti-Semitic. Well, what is Semitic? What is Shemitic? Who's really the Shemitic people, man? All right. Well, you got to go into the history of, of uh, Noah and his three sons, man. Shem, where you get the word Shemitic, Ham, and Japheth, man. Okay, all nations on earth today, all right, so-called Chinese or Arabs, so-called, you know, we're... we're uh, all pretty much, um, not pretty much, we all are the descendants of one of those three men, okay? <clears throat> so there's a few nations that are at, actually Shemitic. So it's really just a a, way, a play on words of which Esau is using certain, it's, it's, you know, it's, what, is, what, what is it called? New speak, right? But let's watch this clip. Don't give a fuck. You can't lie. Don't give a fuck. And that's why we should and see man I, I feel you know and this is my this is just my i was i was meditating upon this earlier dealing with the whole situation um you know brothers have done lessons and everything like that but just you know i was listening to this uh the brother bakwar moth had, had went into the same article and played this clip and i real really feel like he's you know it's definitely a shot at the prophets because you know, again, Esau Edom is setting up these these so-called, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't even know what to call this dude. So-called prophet, right? Prophet of the left hand side, if you will. And the things that he was saying, it was like, man, these are these are if this, you know, this is coming from the elites, man. These are shots at us because they see that they see the things in which we're speaking, and it's ultimately against their kingdom, and that it's essentially going to be destroyed. Now they don't want to lose their power. <laughs> So what do you think they're going to do, man? Try to shut us up. Let's continue on. I think we've been on diamonds. The first thing we do is lie. We have no sense of it. We don't want to know shit. And don't get me wrong. A lot of our people are in a dead state mentally, spiritually. You know, they're, they're caught up in a so-called black culture or, or you know, being, being a Hispanic, whatever the case may be. They're caught up in everything other than the truth. And that, the, and that is that they are a, a actual... You know, the actual Jews, the actual uh, uh, tribes of the nation of Israel. OK, so we get on our people, too, man, in the in the sense of like, you know, Jake, Jake just pretty much through, man. All right. You know, but but that a lot of our people are wicked. And essentially they, you know, whenever it's mentioned that, you know, these these so-called white people are going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. They just can't fathom it. Jake don't want slaves. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want no slaves. You know what I mean? And, and, and I get it because, 
the way we were taught slavery and the slavery that took place dealing with um, the so-called Negroes, you know, and also the so-called uh, uh, Latinos and Native Americans, it was very, um, you know, cruel. It was very, um, man, it was terrible, man. It was, you know, you can't really put words on it, but it was the worst slavery. You know, it was, it was the worst thing that, that ever happened, man. Okay. But with that being said, we're not going to rule in the kingdom like that. We're going to rule in righteousness. Now they are going to have to get their asses beat from time to time. You know, there is a recompense as the scripture says, we're reward unto her double as she has rewarded you. But at the end of the day, people are opposed to the actual will of the heavenly father. Even when you go into the scriptures, you could break it down for hours and hours on end, pull out all the precepts, you know, Isaiah, Isaiah, the second chapter, right? All the prophecies, Isaiah 60, so on and so forth. <laughs> but Jake don't want to hear it, man. Speaking of extremity, right? Pray till your fucking face falls off. Do you not think the Jews with Auschwitz didn't pray? Do you think the Jews that had broken Bible didn't pray and pray and pray? Did that God come and say, let me die? And these are, these are people, <laughs> supposedly, these are the people. And peep the, peep the verbiage, man, supposedly. Supposedly. Because Jake knows, man, with that, with that the fucking double skull on his T-shirt. These dudes know, man. These dudes are just agents, man. They're set up, okay? Of God. Your prayers didn't do nothing for you. Your prayers not going to do shit for you. But they're not the people either. Okay, let's set that straight. They they aren't the chosen people, right? So of course the heavenly Father not gonna hear their prayers, man. Okay, but it's a reason we're the trodden down. Okay, but nevertheless, um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it on this article. You know, like I said, this dude, um, you know, supposedly shot up this, you know, this uh, subway. Um, you know, injured, you know, however many people, and some are in critical condition, as we read, but. Things don't add up, man. And we know that these these psyops are something that Esau Edom has continually done, okay, time and time again, okay. But now we're coming into the time where, as it talks about in Revelation, the 12th chapter, all right, that he's going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time, okay. And he's doing these things to also persecute us. When you read in uh, Revelation 12 and 10, it says, and when I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Okay. Now, when you grab this word accuser. Okay. Strong's G 2723. Categoreo. All right. It makes you think about category. In other words, to put into a box or to accuse before a judge to make an accusation, all right, let's see, pretty much gonna, gonna label us domestic terrorists, like I said, man, criminals, and it's starting with these various different false flags in which they're doing right now, all right, prime example dealing with, okay, uh, what's his name, uh, Frank James, okay, now I have this one, one more article, um, See. And then uh, we'll finish with one more precept and then we'll close out. Because essentially, Esau has been made bare, man. And he's hurt. Okay. So let's see. I wanted to start somewhere in here. All right. Yeah, it was right here. It says, this nation, and this is a quote from um, uh, James, all right, Frank James. It says, this nation was born in violence. It's kept alive by violence or the threat thereof, and it's going to die a violent death. There's nothing going to stop that. And he's right, man. That's prophecy at the end of the day. But see, these things in which he says, a lot of it, not all of it, okay, but some of the things when you look at the videos, all right, when you look at some of the things in which he said, these things actually align with the scriptures, man, the things in which we say. So they're going to fucking, you know, pretty much label us 
right? As we as we read in Revelation 12, the accuse of our brethren, they're going to put us in a category, man. They're going to point the finger in and, and say, hey, <laughs> these people are a problem. They need to be exterminated. You see? Now, we don't have to keep going on too much longer. We'll close out here in the book of 2 Thessalonians 2. All right. And we'll start at verse 3. All right, it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, okay, the Edomites, okay? It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, right? Coming with his new create, you know, pretty much trying to be as the Most High, as the scripture says in Psalms. But it says, or that is worship." So that he has the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. You see, remember ye not that when I was with yet or was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholding that he might be revealed in his time. And that's the time we're in. Again, Esau is being made bare and he's hurt. So they're scrambling, trying to come with these different psyops. All right. Pretty much uh, trying to get the dollar to crash as well. To what? To bring in that new world order, man. Order out of chaos is how these devils run, uh, run their system, man. Okay, they they pretty much rule in deceit and fraudulence. So it says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Why? Because who was in the power seat at that time? The Roman Empire. Okay, and and when you go into who, you know, the Caesars and all, they were Edomites, man. Okay, but there was that, there was that, um... In other words, are falling away. And then that was there was that period of time when you read in Revelation, the 20th chapter, dealing with, um, you know, them, them uh, the bottomless, uh, the bottomless pit. You know, dealing with them being in, in subjection for that thousand year period in which it was referred to as the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages in which they have no history. No. But that's pretty much when they started to come in the early 1300s with their uh, agenda, with the rebirth of that roman empire in which we see what it's what it's grown into uh, you know uh, a great dragon today all right so it says only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders so it says whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth the words that we're speaking we're literally prophesying out of the scriptures and and what's being manifested all right is the end is what's being manifested is all the things that we're speaking but it's according to the spirit that the heavenly father put on us that's why it says shall consume with the spirit of his mouth because the, the mouthpiece of the heavenly father is the prophet's Always has been, all right? And that's no different today. It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, all right, with all power and signs and lying wonders. Now, when you go into this word working, as we often do, Strong's G, 1753, energia. Okay, it's an it's a energy that says working efficiency in the New Testament used only of superhuman power whether of the most high or of the devil so those left-hand enchantments you know the, the operations of of uh, wickedness you know them them pretty much uh you know praying to their deities and offering up sacrifices unto satan because we know these higher ups are are just full-blown satanists okay the, these wicked elite families the rothschilds even the celebrities man they're all in on it that's why george carlin said what that they're you know, it's a big club and you're not in it. And we don't want to be in it, man, because it's it's, it's, it's essentially on its decline. Thus saith the Holy Bible, man. Okay, so we see these things coming to pass, man. Again, these are enchantments in which, you know, majority of the world just looks at it and deals with it emotionally. But we see we see what's going on, man. Again, First Thessalonians 5, what does it say? Ye brethren, I have no need that, to write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So they aren't expecting the Lord to come back, man. Our people are just, you know, a hey, drunk off the wine of Babylon. But that's pretty much it, man. You know, like I said, this was the end of news. I know I was a little, 
all over the place. Um, but we just see the things that are taking place right now. And it's undeniable, man, that, that we're in those times, man. Year of the turn up. OK, so with that, man, I'll close out by giving all praise, all honor and all infinite glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kutash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and the do it well. And much peace, love, blessings and many salutations to you brothers out there laboring in this word in all truth and in all sincerity. Shalom.